I went through a lot to get off the street. I went through a lot of different people. Dale Morris of Cleveland had been homeless on and off for the past five years. And it was by pure chance really that I got the help I needed. And just three months ago, he was finally able to find a stable place to call home. Dale and two dozen other Northeast Ohio homeless residents watching Wednesday night's Cleveland mayoral debate at a watch party hosted by the Northeast Ohio Coalition for the Homeless. The next mayor should actually roll up his sleeves and proactively get involved directly with the homeless situation and uh, not allow status quo. Why do you think homelessness exists in Cleveland? Cleveland mayoral candidate and state representative Sandra Williams says reducing homelessness starts with having enough income to meet Cleveland's average apartment rent of more than $1,000 a month. I believe that the wages that some of our employers are paying within the city of Cleveland and Northeast Ohio does not allow for people to afford to pay their rent. Candidate in Cleveland City Council President Kevin Kelly says the city must continue to help low income tenants avoid eviction and thus becoming homeless. And that's why I'm very proud to have um, sponsored and really led the charge to provide a right to counsel for low income defendants who are facing eviction. Candidate in Cleveland Councilman Bashir Jones believes low income families need a bigger voice at Cleveland City Hall to avoid more people having to live on the streets. I will create as mayor a department for homeless services. Number two, we want to, of course, increase more jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. While candidate and former Cleveland Councilman Zach Reed believes a big part of the solution is additional funding to build more affordable housing. It has not been a new home built in on the southeast side of the city of Cleveland in Ward 1 and Ward 2 in the last four years. Candidate and Northeast Ohio attorney Ross DeBello says more funds for demolition and city code enforcement are needed to create additional affordable units. We have slum lords where the houses aren't kept up, aren't aren't made to stay habitable. Former U.S. Congressman and Cleveland Mayor Dennis Kucinich is calling for greater measures to stop lending discrimination and access to home loans for Cleveland's African American population. I mean, I was chairman of a congressional investigative subcommittee that investigated this matter. While candidate and nonprofit executive Justin Bibb pointed out the vast majority of Northeast Ohio's homeless are black, that bigger systemic issues are at the heart of a solution. And so until we eradicate those structural barriers and eradicate structural racism in public policy, we're not going to address this issue a long term. And we're getting down to the home stretch in this race. The primary election is set for September 14th, narrowing it down to the top two candidates. The general election is on November 2nd. I'm five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis.